Okay, let me touch real quick on the batteries uh, before I box this in. I, what I did was I have, here's what I have, back up a little bit, I'm using an iPhone here again. But what I have here are um, one, two, three, four, six volt US 18 batteries, golf cart batteries. And I've got them in series to make 24 volts. I've got two strings of that. These batteries right here are 100, excuse me, 200 and 8 amp hours uh, each. But when you do it in series, um, your amps stay the same. It's your, um, your volts that increase. So 6 foot, 6 volt series, 12 volts, and so forth. That gives you 24 volts because you got 4 of them. Um, 4 times 6 is 12, of course. So then you go, this negative cable right here. It's what connects the other string to that negative post and negative, positive, to negative, positive, to negative, positive, to negative, and then positive to positive over there on the other side. And that positive runs up into uh, the breaker box up there. And that's basically it. I did have um, two batteries last week that were, um, all these are brand new. I had two that I've been experimenting with for the last year. And what happens when you put brand new batteries with a older battery, each cell in this battery um, has a certain amount of voltage. And so as the battery ages, that voltage isn't as strong. So when you get a battery that's a year old, I had two of them in this case because I was uh, messing around with the 12-volt system. But what happened when I put all the brand new batteries on it, it brought all the brand new batteries down to that lower voltage. And that's what happens. So when you put your battery or, um, bank together, make sure they're all brand new batteries. I even went as far as um, on the top up here. I don't know if you can see it. Should be a 14. I don't have enough light to bring it in. But each one of these have 14. They just came off the truck. I work with a guy in Lexington, South Carolina. He owns a golf cart uh, business called Carts Plus. His name's Ed. Very nice man. And uh, he actually gave me a discount because I bought so many batteries. So I got these at a really good price. If you have old core batteries, he'll count that towards it as well. Um, he will also order if you want the Trojan. He has Trojan batteries. If you want the Trojan uh, golf cart battery instead of the US, uh, that's good too. I have in between the batteries here pull this apart if you can see in there pull a little bit more I'm about to move all of them anyway there is my temperature controller for the midnight classic 150 and this is actually for the magnum uh, 2440 is that not focusing in I know I need I don't have my glasses on hopefully it is this is the magnum battery sensor and this is important I need to put this on the terminal too so I'm glad I found that it's off because I just put all these batteries in, uh, what, two days ago. And, um, well, anyways, this cable needs to be replaced. I got all brand new ones except for this one, so I'll get one of those probably today. And um, right now I'm about to build the box to go around here because, you know, you won't, don't want to leave them exposed. One of these batteries needs to stay around a temperature of 70 degrees. Box them in, that'll help a lot. And once a month, at minimum, check the level of your fluid in here because they gas. And uh, sometimes you'll see uh, water on top. The batteries, that's just from the vapors coming out, charging, discharging, like that. Petroleum jelly, I have an old one here. I put a little bit of this on each terminal size, the top, and then I connect the batteries. That, help, that helps keep the acid, um, the buildup, the corrosion and stuff you see on top of terminals. That helps a lot. <clears throat> just good battery maintenance, you know. You can keep, keep, um, keep one of these handy. This helps me determine, you know, the state of my batteries. I check that once a month also. If you're going to be making your own power, you know, you're the power guy, you've got to do this stuff. Nobody else is going to do it for you. And your batteries, you know, you get longer life, the better maintenance you keep on them, the longer they're going to last. I would love to get, you know, at least four or five. I would say almost six, but I'm going to think right now five years maybe out of these. Then I hopefully will go up to the Trojan you know, or maybe to have a better battery by then. Anyways guys, I'm gonna start working on this box. I thought I'd fill you in on that. Talk to you later.